Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 20 says, under ideal conditions, the population of a certain species doubles every nine years. If the population started with 100 individuals, which of the following expressions gives the population of the species two years after the population started, assuming the population has been living under ideal conditions? So um, whenever you're trying to set up uh, an exponential growth equation, which is what this is, anytime you're doubling or multiplying uh, a value over and over again, you are um, working with an exponential function. And these are always going to be written in the form a times b to the x where A is the initial amount. That's your y-intercept, essentially. And B is the growth rate. Okay. So in this case, the initial amount was 100. So we're going to start with 100. Okay, so Y equals 100 times, and then we're doubling. So we're going to want to multiply this number by 2 over and over again. So that's going to be my growth rate. And there you go. There's our equation. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our choices here. And we see that none of them look like this. Yeah. There's one that's close, or actually two that's close, this one and this one. We need to figure out what's going on here. Like, why is this not the same? There's, there's an extra nine in here, basically. Let's go back to the actual question where it says... It's actually not doubling every year. Um, it's doubling every nine years. This is kind of the catch here. So in, in order for it to double every nine years, um, we need to divide this x by nine. Okay, so that we, we basically are going to do one-ninth of the doubling each year. Okay, so if we double uh, over the course of nine years, divide that up into you know, each individual year, if we do like one ninth of that doubling per year, so let me maybe I can uh, try to illustrate this. So if if here is our timeline here, right? We want to double over the course of the full timeline. So we're going to start with a hundred. Um, start with a hundred, and we're going to double all the way to two hundred. Right? And this is going to take nine years. So if I split this up. Okay, well, if I'm doubling every nine years, here's after year one, year two, three, four, five, six, seven, year eight, and, well, this is year nine. I didn't really space this out very well, but uh, there you go. Okay, so the point that I'm trying to make, uh, well, it's not going to let me just drag one line. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's okay. Uh, what I'll do here is just make this a little smaller, so at least looks a little better. Okay, so the point here is over the course of nine years. Okay, so this is your zero, your one, two, your three, your four, your five, get some crooked lines here, your six, your seven, your eight, and your nine. And over this, the course of these nine years, you get one full doubling. Okay, so it doubles. Okay, so in order for um, us to keep track of each individual year, we need to notice how we broke this up into nine pieces, one for each year. You know, from zero to year one, we don't do a full doubling. We only do one ninth of the double. And then after year two, there's two ninths of the doubling, three ninths, and all the way till we get a full doubling. So in order for us to get that exponent right, since it doubles not every year, but every nine years, we're going to say it's uh, x, uh, or in this case, t, we're using t here, uh, divided by 9. And that's going to be your answer, which is, let's see, uh, letter T. And, uh, yep, that's it for number 20. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.